Hello everybody and welcome. In this video, I will show you the basics of using the command line in Linux operating system. So first things first, you need to know the difference between a command and an interpreter of this command. So in Linux, there are many interpreters, but the most used is the bash. So bash stands for born again shell. So first they use the shell and then they came with the bash, which is the born again shell. But you can find many other shells uh, like Z shell, which is also widely used, but still uh, bash is the most widely used and is the default in Ubuntu Linux. So first you need to open the uh, terminal, which is a piece of software that will allow you to write commands that will be interpreted by the bash. Okay. So again, the terminal is a software. It's only a program that will allow you to run other programs because every command is a program and the terminal will allow you to write these commands and it will call the program that will interpret those commands. So to open the terminal, you have two ways. Either you go to this icon here and you click on it, then you type in terminal and you click on it. And of course you you will use a lot the terminal in the Linux operating system and I'm gonna make a series of videos to show you how to use the terminal so what you can do is you can right click on it and you click add uh, to favorite I have already added this uh, to favorite so it asked me to remove it but you click add to favorites so this is a way of running the terminal another way is of course when you add to favorites you will see it in this bar here in this dock it's called the dock in Ubuntu so you click on it or another uh, way to run the terminal is a keyboard shortcut which is control alt and T so you press control alt and T and here we are in the uh, terminal okay so let me minimize it here we can write our first command so the first command I'm gonna show you is the LS so ls will allow you to list all the files and folders that are in this directory so you type in ls and you press enter and as you can see here it shows me the folders that are in my working directory so to make it a little more organized what you can do is type in ls dash or minus al and as you can see al which is uh, a for all i want to show all the files even the hidden files because in Linux a file that begins with a dot will be a hidden file and as you can see here we have those hidden directories here uh, they start with a dot so they, it didn't show in the first uh, ls when we did ls uh, alone but when we added the al we have those uh, directories and files here also and you can see that it's color coded so the directories are colored in blue so what you can do also is you can uh, press the up arrow on your keyboard and it will call the last command that you entered and we can add a h for human readable so the a is for all files even the hidden files the l is for show it as a listing as you can see it's not like this it's a list h will allow us to get the size of these uh, directories and files but in a human readable uh, format so the next command I want to show you is the PWD PWD stands for print working directory so you're listing uh, a bunch of files and directories but where are those files where are those directories so what you can do is type in PWD for print working directory so this command here will show you where are you in the Linux uh, directory structure so press enter and as you can see we are in slash home slash dantoso so this is my uh, username and the slash is the first directory in Linux it's the parent directory in Linux okay so then from the slash you go to home and from home you go to dantoso and this is where we are the next command I want to show you is the clear command okay so I have this um, annoying stuff here and I want it 
I want to clear this interface here. What can I do? I can't go up or down. So what I can do is type in clear. Okay. Or another shortcut, for example, if I have the print working directory and the uh, the LSO and I have again this mess here what I can do is instead of typing clear let me erase this I can simply uh, use a keyboard shortcut which is control L so it's it will clear the uh, terminal for me so again control L to clear the terminal another useful command is the CD so CD stands for change directory so again we are in home uh, done too. so what I can do is I can ls to see what uh, other folders do I have so I want to go to my desktop for example and I will do cd what I can do is I can in, uh, enter the entire path which is slash home slash done and slash well desktop this is the entire part the, or uh, it's called also the absolute part or i can do a shortcut which is cd dot slash the dot slash means that i'm telling the terminal to start from whatever directory i'm in actually so we are actually in the slash home slash dentist so i will not have to rewrite it again okay so the dot slash and here I can type in desktop. Whoa. What is this? Slash desktop. No search file or directory. Let's try with the absolute path. So cd slash home slash dentosu slash desktop. Whoa. It doesn't work. Make an ls. I'm sure I have my desktop here. Well, I will tell you why. You need to know that Linux is case sensitive it means that if my desktop is written in uppercase i have to write it in uppercase if it's written in lowercase i have to write it in lowercase so as you can see here desktop starts with the capital d okay but when i try to go to my desktop i i write it with a lower d and that's why it tells me that there is no such file or directory and it's true okay so what we can do here of course i'm gonna do a cd dot slash and capital d start typing des and then i can instead of typing everything for example dktop i can what i can do is on my keyboard press on the tab command and it will auto complete whatever you were typing so let me do this again if I press here the tab command, it will auto complete. But if I delete and only write the D, press the tab command, it's doing nothing. Press the tab command another time, a second time, and it will show you the choices that you have that all starts with the capital D. And as you can see, I have three folders that all starts with the capital D. And that's why when I press the tab again, it doesn't do anything because it doesn't know where I want to go whether desktop documents or downloads but if i press e excuse me lowercase e press tab again now it knows that i want to go to that desktop because this starts with de this do and this do if i press do it doesn't know again because documents and downloads both starts with downloads and if i press tab a second time it will only show me two choices this time so if I press W, it knows that I want to go to downloads. So let me go to my desktop here and press enter and here we are. So that's it for this video. In the next video, I will show you a lot more commands to use. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a like. This will help me a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and take care.